over his head. And it it's not easy for many rural North Carolina schools to plan field trips to the bigger cities where museums and hands-on learning can be found. Anson County Schools face that challenge. The kids here live an hour from Charlotte and over two hours from Raleigh, but they live just a few miles from a first-class planetarium and science center. A graduated sailor, fantastic. The Rotary Planetarium and Science Center is part of the public school system. It's led by 34-year education veteran Wendy we Eiffel. Now that looks like a tornado, doesn't it? This is a high-energy place. It is. You are an exhausting person. <laughs> Thank you. Is that good? Is that a compliment or not? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, to be pushing 60, yes, I guess so. Eggs are really, really strong. Did you know that? When Wendy says she's pushing 60, she might mean 60 miles an hour. These students come to class and roll from petting reptiles to making homemade ice cream, all in the name of scientific research. It takes a lot of energy to do what I do. It takes a lot of energy to um, be a good classroom teacher. It takes a lot of preparation. Uh, teachers work very, very, very hard. Real easy, real easy. There you go. And get that one out there. A lot of folks uh, feel like teachers uh, have it made because, you know, sometimes you don't have to be at work until 8 o'clock, the bell rings at 3, um, the work does not stop at 3. The Science Center and Planetarium demands seven day a week attention. That falls to Wendy, who feeds the animals, and she must keep the science experiments fresh. One of the things that we set out to do years ago when we put this project together was to provide a hands-on opportunity for for the children in Anson County. Okay, have a seat. The entire effort and the center was born from the work of the local Rotary Club. It raised some $200,000 and built momentum within Anson County among county political and education leaders. It's all about kids. If we get kids excited about science, these are the kids who may in the future who might not have chosen science or even thought about it if they had not had these kinds of experiences. These kids don't get bored. You know, you'll hear sometime, oh, I'm bored. But these kids do not get bored, and she's never bored. We have got to change science. As teachers, we have got to move from just reading a passage and answering questions to making science come alive. We are running a technological battle with countries all over the world. We've got to keep up. We're getting left behind. And you believe we can do that by making ice cream and by walking on eggs? <laughs> well, that's just part of it. They have to know uh, just very simple activities. Um, you know, just like from that, they understand solid to liquid to gas, evaporation. We have children that are talking about science. We have families that are talking about the experiences their children have as a result of coming to the Science Center and in addition to the, the work that they do here, the follow-up that their teachers provide when they go back to their home schools. So all the fifth grade in the county comes here six times during the year. Six times? Six, six field times, trips? Six field trips, you're right. Wow. But uh, it, it's, a, it's a learning field trip. It's not like, uh, uh, you know, something where you just kind of go and look at something. This is a hands-on, it's a moving type of field trip. That's it. Science is serious business, but it is also fun. And every one of those things, like making ice cream, what does that have to do with science? Well, if you, if you analyze all the little things that went on in there, there was a lot of science that got taught. Well, it's more than a teaspoon. It's more than a tablespoon. The next time these students see Miss Eford, there will be new experiments to try, but that same infectious energy Enough power to plant a seed that may make one of these children Anson County's next great scientist.